other than that, everything you saw is what I use live. Yeah. And Ahmed in, in Iraq, um, could you uh, comment on the benefits you could see from this at all? Yeah, definitely. I'm happy that I found the the post on LinkedIn and joined you guys. So we do a lot of continuous improvement. I know it's more of a an engineering process, safety related, but these type of, uh, I would say, sessions that will help understand the key elements like what Jenny just mentioned a few minutes ago that people will benefit from. So I'm really excited to, I will, I will try it. I will use the link that you shared in the chat and I will, I will, I will try it, yeah. Fantastic. Um, and we have uh, Saad join us uh, from Pakistan. Saad, hello, welcome. Hello, sir. How are you? Hello, Very sir. Well, yes, we uh, we just had we just heard from Jenny, I think. Um, but um, good, good, good for you to catch up with some of the comments, Saad. Yeah. All right. <laughs> He's probably in a in a busy room. Okay. Um, has anybody else got any comments, Chris? Yeah, I have a question for Jenny, if I may, please, Jenny. Uh, absolutely love those activities. Absolutely with you that I try to give fun activities in, in my classroom trainings. I haven't found activities so far, and thank you so much for ones that are really snappy that you can do in five or ten minutes. Mm. The real difference with these. My question to you is, I still have clients who, because of their geographical distribution, are still looking for online training. Have you, have you happened across, have you used, have you heard of any activities, once again, that are highly interactive, following the principles you've just described, but that work in an online environment using, you know, where people are basically like we are today on Zoom? Yeah, yeah. Um... No, but maybe that's something that we could co-collaborate to create. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, sorry, uh, I've used something called Mural and Miro. I don't know whether online collaboration tools, isn't it? So I think yeah. where I've played pizza making game uh, for Lean. So so you have your basis of pizza, you add the toppings. I think you probably might have seen the paper version of that. But that's another really good collaborative um uh kind of like a place where anybody can join free you don't have to sign up but the person who is facilitating that workshop will need um a license for that and then people will join in and you can play interactive games as well on there um so it's called the one is mural the other one is called myro okay and <clears throat> on, both, on both of those as well um they're, they're free to have a license you know for you know for the facilitator and uh, they don't cost you can have a basic license for free yep and yeah <clears throat> They're both good tools. Yeah, I think the basic version, I think, gives you one or two sheets you can use. Yeah. But I think on that, you cannot you cannot have unlimited people coming and joining. So I think this got a bit of a, a gray area to it. But I think if you have the license, I think it's not that expensive, probably about five or 10 quid a month. Uh, and then you can have unlimited people joining in, unlimited sheets as well. You can have it in there. So it's worth having that, uh, both of them, either one of them, brilliant brilliant tools yeah. I've used in COVID uh, running yellow belt courses on that. Yeah. Oh, it's just good. Hey, Chris, uh, quick, Chris, because that is a question I've asked as well. And, and to to answer your question, I'm still struggling myself. I'm currently running, um, I'm currently running a series of um, online courses. Uh, the feedback I'm getting so far is good. Uh, everyone's loving it. Um, but, oh, it's painful. Uh, it's painful to do, you know, online uh, training I don't enjoy it and um, because it really is dry I find it really dry and, and the exercise I've got because I've done them about five times now I'm really bored with them yeah. <laughs> um, but I've got nothing I've got not I've, I've, I've found nothing else um, but I'm just got, I'm just going on the basis that the, the client's happy feedback's good um, but yeah I'm, I'm still I'm still I'm still asking that question myself Chris um, looking for interactive um, games that we can do you know online but I don't think there's many. John, um, maybe, um, maybe we could have a couple of sessions, design design sessions at the conference. Yep. We could have a little competition. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. workshop, see who can come up with the best online like, yeah. game, lean six sigma yeah. game for training. Make it an agile competition where they get 
minutes to come up with a prototype, they demo it, and then they get 10 minutes to improve it. Make it <laughs> I, I, kind I, of a, yeah. I wonder something. I want to add something. Actually, uh, I saw it. Yeah, hello, sir. Right now, we are, uh, you can say that uh, we are uh, running a gamification series in Pakistan. So I'm also planning uh, for the gamification, or we can say simulation games, social game, uh, like you can say Ludo games on uh, related to Six Sigma statistics and all that. So we can introduce some simulation games, online games related to Six Sigma or continuous improvement. Uh, link with the testing or uh, you can say teaching like my suggestion is that you you have a like a, in the classroom side i believe you have a physical roulette table with a roulette with a ball and, yeah yeah and perhaps what you're suggesting is that we could potentially have a a virtual roulette wheel that people take turns spinning or and getting yeah, for chi-square test, like exactly, exactly. For the chi-square test, yeah, to, to see if there's a relationship.